I know what you're thinking. Are they sponsored by Heart? No, what would give you that impression? Actually, yes, absolutely. So Heart sponsored this. And if you follow us at all, then you know that in December of last year, actually, I think it was November of 2019, we went to New York to see the release of a brand new power tool uh, platform that was going in Walmart, and that was Heart Tools. Now, you notice I didn't say a brand new tool company. Heart is not a brand new tool company. They've been around for years. In fact, back decades when I was doing uh, more um, construction and tile work, uh, I used to use some hard tools. I used to use some of their tile setting tools. I had an old, I've still got a tape measure laying around here somewhere, uh, one of their old ones. But anyway, they've made hand tools for a very long time. So they're not new to the industry at all. It's just they're new to power tools. Now, if you look at the mother company, they're not new to power tools. So again, they've kind of got that heritage of knowing how to make power tools and they've also been in the industry and the trades industries for a very long time. Now, they've definitely expanded their platform by making the power tools and also by signing a deal with Walmart where they're kind of the exclusive dealer for tools in Walmart. Now, again, if you follow me at all, I've explained before in some of my posts that I really like that because Walmart's never really hung their hat on a tool brand. You would walk down the tool aisle and it was just this kind of smorgasbord of different colors and flavors. And there was really no set precedence on, you know, what you were going to find uh, given which Walmart you walked down or at which time of the day or which time of the year. So I'm glad to see that, that Walmart, you know, in, in a sense, has hung their hat on a tool brand and said, hey, you know what? We're going to focus on having a tool brand that are going to be good tools that people, when they're coming in our stores, because let's face it, lots of customers walk through their doors, um, and so Heart is filling that aisle with different sorts of tools. You may already know that. If you've walked down the tool aisle in Walmart recently, you've seen their tools. Now, I've got some stuff kind of in their mechanics line here and what we would call their lifestyle line uh, sitting up here, but I don't even have any of their OPE or outdoor power equipment. So uh, they have lawnmowers, they have string trimmers, they have blowers. Um, and and more so the chainsaws uh, and then they even have a large mechanics hand tool set now we did our welding cart um, where we built took one of their heart toolboxes and I kind of expanded on that and made a welding cart to hold uh, my welder my plasma cutter uh, the welding tanks obviously uh, wires hanging all, all the wires have hooks and then you've got a full toolbox to store all your welding or all my welding and plasma supplies. So that worked out really well. By the way, watch that video if you haven't, because it's a pretty cool video, I think anyway. Um, but anyway, so where do these tools fit? And, and why am I talking about them? Um, well, I do think they have a good fit, and, and I think in various ways. Number one, if you're a DIY guy, if you're a DIY girl, um, and on the weekends you're doing your weekend projects, on the afternoons, things like that, these are great tools for that. They have brushless impact driver and brushless drill. Um, they have uh, impact wrenches. They're gonna take you know, wheels and tires off no problem at all. They have buffers for, so you can polish your car, buff your car off, uh, you know, apply wax, things like that. Um, they have LED lights. So there's a lot of tools that they have that just make sense for that, for that homeowner, for that DIY enthusiast. Now also, where do I think they fit? Well. Again, getting into the fact they got brushless tools, uh, getting into the fact they've actually got impact, impact wrenches as well as impact drivers. I think that kind of bridges that gap into that entry level professional, if you want to call it. So whether it's a, a, an entry level mechanic or an entry level uh, construction worker, roof or something like that, there are tools that would easily cross that gamut into being able to be in the tool belts of those beginning uh, uh, technicians, if you will. Um, and I don't have a problem saying that at all because I really do think they're good tools. Now, he here's something that, that I, I love to talk about in the fact that don't enter into an industry, and especially when you're looking at the trades, and blow your money before you make it. It just does not make sense. Buy tools that are going to make you money, and when you've made some money, and you have some money put away, and, and you're paying your bills, by all means, buy whatever you want to. Buy the top of the line. No one should stop you if that's what you want. But entering into the market, don't, don't owe yourself to someone by expanding some huge credit line 
and then you owe them for your tools for the first you know 10 years of, of your of your work life uh, so that's where these heart tools are a, kind of a, a, a great stepping stone if you will and again for that homeowner I think it's a great tool forever if you will uh, they're all warranted I, I believe all of them don't quote me on that but I think three-year warranties on all these that are sitting on the table and as far as prices are concerned you can get a brushless impact driver and drill with the ba two batteries and a charger for like 175 um, so you're probably not going to do that with another tool brand um, you can get this inflator here for 29 dollars which which reminds me so let's talk about, you know, we're, we're looking at the different tool lines. We see the mechanics tool line. We see, um, you know, maybe OPE and the outdoor power equipment, things like that. Well, say you don't trust me on that. Say you say, you know what, Tim, you're just a shill. You're talking about it because they're sponsoring you. Number one, I don't talk about things unless I believe in it. If, if, if I'm up here talking about it, um, then that means I believe in it because there's many things that come across as opportunities that we turn down because it just doesn't fit the bill. Um, so that's one. Number two is if you don't trust me on that, if you don't trust me to buy a grinder, if you don't trust me to buy one of their drills, then you know what? Try their lifestyle line. And what, what I mean by that is fans, uh, tire inflators, um, inflator, uh, low pressure and high pressure where you can blow up an air mattress if you want to and your tire, uh, LED light. Those are things that, you know what? You're not going to wear out. Uh, you know what? You're going to use them at your home. You could use them at the shop. This morning I used one to pump up a four-wheeler tire that's just kind of a workhorse around here that pulls things around and the tire goes flat all the time. So rather than dragging out the air hose from the compressor, I grabbed the little inflator. I can set the pressure right here on the, on the, on the LCD screen, let it run. It's going to shut off when it's done. So stuff like that, try it. Try it. 29 bucks for this. You know, it's like 40 or 50 bucks for the for the, the, the better inflator, if you will. Uh, you know, $35 for, for a polisher or a buffer. So there's some things here, even $45 for their grinder. Uh, so there's some cheap tools or cheap price-wise in the heart line that make a lot of sense that if you don't believe me, try one of those. And, and I think you'll really believe it. Uh, am I saying they're the best tool in every single category? Absolutely not. That's that's not why, why they're in Walmart, and that's nothing against Walmart, but let's face it, we walk into Walmart because we want value. We, we, we're trusting that we're walking in there, and we're not expecting, per se, to get the top of the line for the premier price. Uh, we're going in there for a value. We're going in there to say, hey, I want to get something decent that's going to be worth my money that I'm not going to pay a lot for. And so that's exactly where these tools fit. And quite frankly, that's exactly where Hart actually markets that. You know, they're not out there marketing at, you know, on a tool truck. Um, so I really like the heart tools. I like the fact that, again, their line is expanse. I mean, if you want a, you know, a, a, a two tier toolbox, you know, with six drawers on the bottom and seven drawers on the top or whatever it is, uh, flip top, you can do that. And, and quite frankly, their toolboxes are as good as most. In fact, if you look at them, they're very similar to the other tool brands that are out there, they got the soft closed drawers, they got the five inch casters, um, you name it, it's got all the bells and whistles. So looking at a toolbox, they're probably gonna be cheaper than most, if not cheaper than all. Um, and then actually looking at their hand tools, lifetime warranty on those, so your ratchets and sockets and things like that. Uh, and by the way, we'll get some of that in, we'll do some, some more uh, inclusive and more in-depth reviews on it. Uh, but again, it, it, it's hard to go wrong with something like that, especially when you're looking for value. Uh, so Hart is a great value brand uh, that's giving you that value, not by being cheap. So when I say value, I don't mean cheap. What I mean by value is you're getting a product that's giving you value to your job as well as value to your dollar. Um, so, and I believe Hart does that pretty well and very well in a lot of scenarios. So make sure you check them out. Walk down the Walmart aisle, pick them up, look at them, play with them, buy one of them, take them home. They, they offer, I'm sure, a, a money back warranty as well as the three year warranty on, on making sure that it's not gonna die. Um, if there's one recommendation I would tell you, um, I would say that if you're doing anything like uh, impact wrenches, a grinder, maybe even using the impact driver and, and drill a lot, I would step up to their four amp hour battery. 
So the four amp hour battery, you can get a better charger, as well as the battery has a, has a charge indicator on it, and it's just gonna last a lot longer than their two amp hours that are kitted with a lot of their products. Saying nothing bad about the two amp hour, you see that we, we actually took a wheel off a full size truck uh, with the impact wrench using their two amp hour battery. Had no problem doing that whatsoever. It broke those lugs free right away and backed those off. Uh, but I'm just saying, like when we built the, the, uh, the heart welding cart and I used the grinder, and by the way, very impressed with the grinder. Did very well. If you're welding all day long, is it the grinder for you? Absolutely not. Uh, but if you're doing a little bit of welding, if you're doing a little bit of grinding, a little bit of construction, it's a great tool that you don't have to drag a cord around. And the two amp hour battery it will do okay, but again, I would recommend a four amp hour if you're doing much of grinding whatsoever. Um, so some of those tools that actually take a lot of in, intense work uh, to, to perform, step up to the four amp hour battery. I think you'll be happier. I believe that's like 88 bucks. So again, you're not breaking the bank. And by the way, when, when you look at any tools whatsoever on the cordless side, that's really where a lot of your money going to is the battery. Um, it, it's just the fact of, of the way battery cells are made, um, the way that they're having to compete with car companies now that are using those same battery cells. Again, batteries aren't cheap. So a lot of times when you're buying those kits and things, that's what you're paying for is those batteries. But I would definitely recommend to step up with that if you're going to use it a lot of a lot of it, if you will. But but these things that don't require a lot, like uh, you know, no problem at all. That this little six inch with a two amp hour battery will will take care of a whole car if you're just you know, wax on wax off. Which by the way, that's what these are for. These aren't actually buffing out a shine, if you will. This is more of kind of a Mr. Miyagi wax on wax off type of lay the wax on take it back off, but not necessarily buffing out scratches for you. Um, these inflator deflators, they're gonna do fine with you know pumping up a tire or two uh, on one two amp hour battery. Um, and then as well as the lights, they're gonna last quite a long time uh, depending on which one you have and which battery you have. Now we're gonna be taking more of these independent tools in, in the heart line and actually doing some reviews on them. Probably start with an impact wrench, uh, and then we'll do some of their others as well. We may even do some, some outdoor power equipment because let's face it, all of us have yards at home or most of us have yards at home. Many of you are at home wondering what to do right now anyway. Uh, so anyway, we'll do some more in-depth reviews, but I just wanted to kind of talk about the Heartline and what they offer. Again, I'm absolutely fine with you questioning my judgment on these tools, but before you make a negative comment, go out and look at them, go out and pick them up, check them side by side. And if you want to say, well, Harbor Freight this, Harbor Freight that, well, check out the Harbor Freight warranty. You know, check out the quality of their tools, check out their battery line and are their battery lines cross compatible, things like that. That's one thing about Hart. You will see that the same batteries are going to work across all their tools, except for the 40 volt uh, lawn equipment. Some of their lawn equipment is 40 volt, some of it's 20 volt. So again, you'll, you'll see that. But, but as far as all their power tools, you're gonna use the same battery in all of those. And uh, really excited to see what Hart has to offer. And by the way, when we first saw them in November, I don't remember how many tools they had, but they've expanded those even more in the few months since then and since they've rolled out to the, to the Walmart shelf. So next time you're in Walmart, check them out. You can even check them out on walmart.com. Have a great day. If you don't mind, keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Also hit that little bell notification. It's gonna notify you of future videos as we release them and go out and do something nice for someone.